Hello lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into it. So it looks like Takashi69 is back. He's back to creating music, child. And most importantly, he is back to trolling. And it looks like Fabio Foreign is his first V-I-C-T-I-M. Now, just last week, the numbers for Fabio Foreign and Coyle Ray's album sales came out. And it was said that Fabio Foreign only sold 29K in his first week. And Coyle Ray, it was 11K in the first week week but i thought it was good that fabio foreign even hit the billboards with his album but you know of course with six nine feeling like he is the king of new york and all of the attention being on fabio foreign and him being called the prince or the king of new york six nine has to call him out he has to troll him i guess to make him look better and try to promote himself and his music but let's go ahead and get into this article shout out to complex this article says six nine has been going after fabio foreign around the release of his debut album bible and now the new york trill mc has responded after the first week numbers for bible arrived six nine was amongst those who were less than impressed debuting at number nine with twenty nine thousand equivalent album units the project became fabio's first top 10 project it garnered 37.75 million on demand streams which i feel like is pretty good but only 1000 pure album sales now takashi he responded he was like this y'all king not black bald all those features the whole industry promoted that wrote six nine and now you kanye and nikki's sidekick six nine's most recent album 2020's tattle tales garnered 32.9 million on demand streams in its first week in 32,000 pure album sales debuting at number four with a total of 53,000 equivalent album units billboard reported that most of the physical sales came from merch and ticket bundles and it's second week on the billboard 200 tattletales dropped dramatically to number 60 so basically this article is saying that 6 9 sold so many physical copies of his album in 2020 called tattletales because he was selling them in bundles along with tickets and some other things so fans had to buy his album in a way if they wanted like tickets or other stuff but within the second week you know when you take out those bundles his album went all the way down on the billboard to number 60. As 6 9 has continued to antagonize Fabio, the City of Gods rapper finally responded on Sunday with a pair of posts. My debut album, number 9, on the billboards, that's in the whole world. He wrote without mentioning any names directly. And then he said, from where I come from, that's a win. I know that's right, Fabio Foreign. So Fabio was basically showing like 6 9 is definitely not getting to me. And my album is number 9 on the billboards. And that's enough for me it's nothing like a grateful king somebody who's just grateful for anything that they have but let's go ahead and finish this article up here it says he also shared another response on his instagram stories and this time he heavily alluded to six nines constant attempts at provocation then that's when fabio wrote to his insta story and he said and this is why i don't respond to these lame a weirdo clout chasing a ends fabio wrote alongside a post showing that he has five songs on the new york apple music chart you could buy youtube views and this was a rumor that was going around for some time now like a lot of people have been saying and are still saying that 6 9 he actually decides to buy his youtube views i don't know how that's possible or if that's true but that's what is said anyway you can buy your youtube views but you can't buy chart positions everything this kid ever said has been a lie and everything else gonna be a lie i apologize to the real ones out there that's mad i'm entertaining this ish but fans most know what's really going on in ny the situation between the artists kicked off earlier this month when 6 9 proclaimed that he was the king of new york upon teasing new music plenty of people doubted him and fabio was the chief amongst them um fabio wrote to his twitter on april the 9th and he said five billboard and this is you know the way that he wrote it five billboard in times square top five songs in ny on apple at once and articles on both daily news and ny times don't ever let a n say that he is the king of this city and it seems like this beef between fabio foreign and six nine is continuous but like i said i feel like six nine is doing a little more than fabio foreign is doing i wouldn't really get into it with six nine now i feel like everybody has the right to defend themselves and stand up for themselves but at this point it's just like six nine nobody's really worried about six nine like that you 
know what I'm saying? So it's not as big as if it was another upcoming artist. But you know, 6ix9ine, he is an artist, but obviously, like he's even saying and admitting, he is blackballed from the industry. So not a lot of people is worried about him and what he is saying. Yes, it's getting posted onto the blog pages, but it's nobody is taking it a hundred percent serious. And that's not to be little 6ix9ine. I'm just saying, you know, this is actually what people are saying. And this is why Takashi 6ix9ine is no longer as relevant as he used to be. Now, let me tell you guys what's really going on. And I probably don't have to say this. A lot of you guys probably already know this, but I'm going to go ahead and prove my point with this. So obviously, Takashi 6ix9ine is very hurt that he is blackballed from the industry. He feels really bad about it. He feels really sad. He feels really hurt. So any upcoming artist who's really like making a name for themselves in New York City, he's going to come after because he doesn't want anybody saying that they are bigger than him. He really wanted to come out and be the king of New York, but because of the situation that happened with him a couple of years ago, that deterred him from being the king of New York and really blowing up. And now he is, like I said, blackballed from the industry and now everybody calls him a rat. So it hurts him to see Fabio Foreign is coming up. So he has to try to embarrass him or make him look bad or make him look like he's not doing enough or that he doesn't have enough sales because he's hurt that he cannot be in the industry like other artists like he can't collab with other artists he can't go to the BET awards he can't do this he can't do that because he is blackballed the only thing that he can really do is put out music now Takashi 69 he did take a break from music for a while we all know this and now he's recently coming back out but while he was taking that break he wasn't all good living life all happy that just was not the case 6ix9ine was actually sad he was very very depressed and he was very hurt and we know this because not too long ago a couple of months ago he had a problem with his girlfriend they were on rocky terms and he was basically really treating her different and they were on the verge of breaking up she was going to break up with him in, in their whole relationship well not too long after that he decided to surprise her and get her back surprise her with all of these things and then he reposted her onto his social media and he wrote and said that he was being very neglectful he wasn't really caring for her because he's been going through his own stuff he's been depressed he's been feeling bad so that kind of let us know and that kind of let me know like wow Takashi 69 is really feeling bad he's really depressed while he's taking this break he's not like all happy just living his life and obviously when a man is unhappy you know a lot of times that does come out on his female that came out on his female but it didn't take too long for him to get her back and get right back on track with their relationship which was a good thing and if I could find that post I will post it in here we all know how guys like to post stuff and then delete it but if I can find it I will definitely post it in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about but 6 9 is very hurt he's very depressed and that's where all of this animosity comes from in a way he's very jealous of Fabio Foreign or any other artist who is coming up in his city sadly y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section now let's go ahead and move into our last topic i'm not going to try to make this video too long and this is going to be carmen and corey now we already knew that corey was going to make things right with his wife carmen or is it his fiance y'all let me know in the comment section below but carmen she posted all of these bouquet of flowers onto her insta story and she said flowers day now we knew that she had to get them flowers from somebody then she posted and said they so beautiful i've never seen roses this color thank you and she tagged her man Corey. so he decided to make things right with carmen of course and this is what i'm going to say i'm all here for carmen and Corey being together if they want to be together i'm not one of those people who are going to be like they shouldn't be together they're too toxic there's a lot of toxic relationships out here so i'm not going to get into that but i will say this Corey definitely knew what he was doing he knows that Carmen is going to take him right back so he knows that he can just brush Carmen off for the moment go out do whatever get a tattoo and be talking about how all of these women are in his dms and then just send Carmen some flowers or a sweet little text and everything will be okay again so that's why he has no problem with you know bringing all this stuff to social media basically making it seem like they're about to break up and saying all of this stuff about him and Carmen's relationship because he knows that at the end of the day Carmen is still 
still going to be there. Not going to say much about that, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Anyways, last but not least, it looks like Lil Durk decided to link up with his twin. I mean, it's crazy how much these two look alike. I think it's awesome. And hopefully they will come out with some content together, like something, maybe a video together. But y'all let me know what y'all feel about all these topics, my lovely TTs, in the comments. Thank you so much for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end, and I will see you in my next video.